Guys, I just got a huge package in the mail. It's something I purchased and I paid for from a, uh, a fellow uh, Epic Bricks fan that contacted me through uh, Instagram. And uh, here we have the bad boy in the, in the studio, ready to unbox. And uh, I'm excited because uh, it's got a lot of stuff. And not just a lot of stuff, but a lot of uh, some exclusive stuff. Some stuff that's, I would say, is rare, but is going to continually become more rare as time moves on. Become, because some of it's also relatively new, but it's new rare. So it's like, it's worth some money, but it's not worth as much as it will be, like, say, 10, 20 years down the road, in my opinion. So... Be sure to uh, subscribe, like the video, and we'll get unboxing it. Where? Oh, I think my razor blade is actually downstairs. Give me one moment. All right, so let's be very careful, but it looks very secure. So let's just go right down the middle, but not too deep. I don't want to like slice into anything potentially. And then along the sides. Shouldn't be cutting towards myself. Always cut away from yourself when you're using a something sharp like a knife or a blade or anything like that. Because if you slip, you want to be slipping forward, not towards your face, towards your body. Microphone. Oh boy. Look at look at who's staring at us right off the bat. But a little Leia. Little bit of Leia. What set are you from? I don't even know, but he packaged these up beautifully. Shout out to you, Brandon. Thank you so much, man. You did a great job. This is from my buddy Brandon, who, uh, like I said, contacted me via Instagram. And here we have what he sent me, which is a doozy of a lot. I, I knew what I was paying for. And uh, I got a lot, and he did almost, like I did, I'm, I'm very appreciative. He did all these with all the stuff they're supposed to have. You went above and beyond, my guy. Um, I know you said this is what you were going to do, um, but just know that, like, the amount of effort that you put into packaging these means a lot. But, dude, yeah, I really do appreciate the amount of effort that you put into packaging these, like, Everything in here is just immaculate. So let's start digging through some of this. So here, actually, this is the UCS Slave 1 right here. So that is that. I can't really show you much more than the, the unassembled bag there. And I think this is maybe more. I'm not sure what this is. This might be more of the UCS. Not 100% sure. It's very secure. But I don't want to rip it because it's got tape on it. There we go. It's working. Oh, wow. Got even more tape. This is amazing packaging, dude. Thank you. It's almost too much. I might have to like just rip into here, but I don't I don't want to rip the integrity of the bag. Looks like we got more I'm gonna assume more slave one part. And then minifigures upon mini figures upon mini figures forever. But a lot of these are CMFs. Ooh. Okay, here's some of the rare stuff I was talking about. These are Play Day figures exclusive from working at the Lego store. Which the person I bought these from did. So this is how we acquired them. And uh, this was part of the purchase. As you can see, they might be backwards. Um, but each day is... Uh, a different uh, theme, I guess, that they had going. And one one is like emotional, physical, creative, 
uh, play day, social, cognitive. So each one has like an exclusive chest print. I don't know if you can see that, but nothing about them is unique, but their torsos. But they are essentially rare. Is it? Interesting. I don't know what this goes to. More mini figures, just I mean, tons of CMFs, Disney regular CMF, all sorts of. Ooh, that's such a cool Joker. I actually haven't seen that Joker before. That's a really good looking Joker from the Batman CMF. I've been through a lot of the Batman CMFs, but I've never actually seen that one. Wow, just so many figures. Wow, what are, are these? Oh, these are Harry Potter figures. I thought they were Hobbit figures at first. Either way. They're super awesome. Dude, you did such an amazing job packing these. Like, you really didn't have to. Like, this is a lot of effort, so I appreciate it, man. I really, really appreciate it. You really went above and beyond. Just minifigures. We got extras. Look at that. Extras for days. Did you just include, like, random stickers and... Like, capes and stuff, dude? This is awesome. There's, like, so much treasure in here, dude. And I'm gonna guess this is more slave parts. I'm gonna just assume at this point that anything wrapped up in a bag like that is slave one part. What else? Okay. I think that's most of what I knew was gonna be in here. And then let's get to um the super special stuff, guys. Check it out. Here's... I couldn't find the figure right off the bat, but here, check it out. Look what this is. I'll find the figure here in a second. But, boom. I know it's backwards because I've got the camera flipped. But this is the Lego Stores North America 100th Store Celebration poster. So this is from, like I said, if you worked at the Lego store, you got awarded, I think it's this minifigure. I'll have to find him. He's inside the box somewhere. But then he also sent me the poster that the employees got. I think the employees got it. But either way, this is a framed poster. So this is something that's just like, I can't believe I have this. Like, this is amazing. Like, you can see it in this camera. But... 100 North America Lego store, North bleh, Lego store is North America, 100 Lego store. Pretty crazy. And then I think there's a non, oh, here, there, here's the figure. It popped out right as I was, I was moving it. Go check it out. The lighting's not very good on this camera. You can see the exclusive figure there. And yeah, I am a, a very proud owner of this exclusive figure now. Along with the matching poster, which is crazy, dude, that I have, like, that's such a cool piece of, like, Lego history. And there is no way I'm selling that. No way, dude. Ooh, firefighter. Oh, it's a must be a CMF. Ooh, I dropped one. I dropped a couple. There we go. But yeah, so the rest of these. Oh! It's me! Free, free, uh, Lego change before I got changed to flesh color. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, this is the Lego figure that I use for my Sig Fig. You can see it's got the brick body, and then I just replaced a flesh head and, uh, flesh hands and stuff like that. So let's. Dang it, I can't get this box to stay. There we go. Now it's going to stay open. Okay, so some more figures. We can just kind of go through here for a minute. We've got the CMF uh, horsey guy. The one I was showing earlier, we've got Joker. But yeah, for the most part, I think I'll do a separate video on these minifigures as I would get them separated and uh, organized and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, for the most part, that's basically what everything else left in here is, is uh, minifigures. Minifigures, CMFs mostly. And uh, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, this was an insane haul. But uh, 
I really appreciate you guys. Thank you. I do plan on doing more YouTube content here as we move forward. I just got to get more comfortable with making it and then get better at the, the, the time crunch that it takes to edit all of it. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up, like it, all that good stuff. Thanks, guys. Have an excellent day.